بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, We are on hadith number 27 from the book of Riyad al-Salihin and still in the chapter of patience أن أبي يحيى سهيب بن سنان رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عجبا لأمر المؤمن إن أمره كله كل له خير وليس ذلك لأحد إلا لمؤمن إن أصابته السراء شكر فكان خير له وإن أصابته ضراء صبر فكان خير له رواه مسلم On the authority of Abu Yahya, Suhaib ibn Sinan, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, How wonderful is the affair of the mu'min, the believer. Uh, all of his affairs are good and that is for nobody except the mu'min, the believer. If a happiness or um, prosperity comes to him or her, they are thankful and that is good for them. And if a hardship uh, or adversity befalls him or her and they are patient, it is, and that is good for them. So either way, no matter what good or harm comes to a mu'min, a believer, he's getting khayr, he's getting goodness because of his shukr and his sabr. And this hadith was narrated by a uh, Muslim. Abu Yahya, Suhaib ibn Sinan, also popularly known as uh, Suhaib al-Rumi, radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him. He was originally from an Arab tribe, but he had uh, reddish hair and a very fair complexion. Uh, he was kidnapped by the Byzantine um, Empire, or somebody from the Byzantine Empire, as a youth and sold into slavery. Um, he spent almost 20 years there growing up from a young age, so he almost forgot the Arabic language and he was um, basically fluent in the Greek and the Roman uh, languages. Alhamdulillah, he was able to escape and go back to Mecca and he started you know, affiliating himself with some of the uh, noblemen of the Quraysh and the Meccan society and he became a very successful business person. He was also known to be a very famous archer. In, in the battlefield. Um, as time passed, he heard the message of Islam and he became a Muslim. A famous story about him was that, you know, when he wanted to make the hijrah with the Prophet ﷺ or to the Prophet ﷺ in, in Medina, he was prevented by the Quraysh. And he pulled out his uh, bow and arrow and he threatened to say that, you know, you know how great of a marksman I am? Basically, I will shoot uh, until all my arrows are done meaning that he was going to fight to the death to be able to go uh, to the Hijra, to Medina with the Prophet Sallallahu And then they started ridiculing him, saying that, you know, you made all this wealth with us and you became rich with us, now you want to go and leave us after you've like, benefited from us and, and, and not leaving us anything in return. And he said, would you be content if I gave you all my wealth and you let me go to make the Hijra? And they, they agreed to that basically. So he told them where his wealth was and he was allowed to make the hijrah to the Prophet And at this time the Prophet actually he received revelation before Suhaib came there. And he was saying that Suhaib had made the greatest of transactions or the best business dealing. You know, sacrificing all of his wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so he was given, you know, basically the glad tidings of Jannah in that sense because he made the ultimate Sacrifice of dunya for the deen radiallahu anhu. He lived his life in Medina and was considered like one of the advisors to the greatest of the companions He served and led the Salat under Umar radiallahu anhu and then after Umar was uh, Martyred and killed in the Salat. He actually led the funeral prayer for him and he was one of the advisors in choosing the next uh, Khalifa He died in Medina and was buried in Baqiya with the other companions. May Allah be pleased with him so in this hadith uh, the Messenger وسلم, he's saying to the believers how all of their affairs are good, uh, no matter what happens. If they are given some type of goodness, they are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and thankfulness is not only with the tongue, but it's with the heart, and it's with appreciation of doing the, the good deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, the more Allah gives us, the more we should obey Allah and use our gifts in obedience to Him. Um, some of those scholars say that not only you know, are we thankful you know, for the gifts that Allah gives us, but we should even be thankful for Him allowing us to worship Him because that's one of the greatest of bounties. 
the bounties of the dunya, they will end in the dunya. But the bounties of the deen will be here and in the next life. Also, they say that uh, giving the ability to make shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to, make, to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is also a gift that requires shukr in and of itself. So being thankful that Allah allows us to be thankful, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and this is you know, the way that a Muslim is always connected to Allah in any situation that you're in, whether it be good or bad. When it's good times, alhamdulillah, we're thankful to Allah. We always remind, because we're being tested in ease, you know, to see if we remind, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be thankful for the bounties He has given us. Are we using them in a halal manner? Are we fulfilling our duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This is how we express our thankfulness. And also, when a hardship comes, a Muslim is patient, right? And in your patience, you're being rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah, He says in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَنَبْلُوكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِنْ خَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصِ مِنْ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test us with something of fear and hunger and um, a decrease in wealth and in life and give good tidings to the patient. وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا صَابَتُ مُصِيبَةُ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ the ones who, when a musibah, a catastrophe comes upon them, they say, verily, it, it, we are from Allah, and to Allah shall we return. These are the ones who have the blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the mercy. And these are the ones who are successful. So being patient in the time of adversity, adversity and hardship and trials and tribulations, this is a way that we get great rewards with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet stressed in his hadith that these gifts are only for the mu'min, the believer. Um, the disbelievers, unfortunately, they don't have this concept of shukr and sabr, right? They might have many gifts and bounties from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they forget to be thankful. You know, and that's why there's no blessing in it. And then when hardships come upon them, they become depressed, overly depressed or overly anxious, right? They can't deal with uh, life because they, they only know the here and now. They're not thinking about the next life. So they lose the aspect and the blessings of patience. But a mu'min, alhamdulillah, he's grounded. He knows this dunya is temporary. So he's thankful for all the gifts he has. And he's patient for any of the hardship that comes. Everything comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should always be um, you know, in the realization that if it's coming from Allah, we have to be pleased with it. You know, whether it be something of goodness or whether it be something of harm. It's for some type of wisdom and benefit, whether we realize it or not. So we are thankful when the good comes and we are patient when the bad comes. And the ayah that proves also this is for the believers. قُلْ مَنْ حَرَّ مَزِينَةَ اللَّهِ الَّتِي أَخْرَجْ لِعِبَادِهِ وَالطَّيِّبَاتِ مِنَ الرِّزْقِ قُلْ هِيَ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا خَالِصَةِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ that basically the goodness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us in the provisions, it is um, for us in the dunya, in this hayat dunya and only for us in the akhirah. Meaning that the bounties will only be for the believers in the next life. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us thankful when He's giving us any goodness whatsoever and to express that thankfulness with obedience to Him and worship of Him and to give us patience in any time that we fall or face adversity or trial or tribulation and that we survive it and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.